In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams. Breakout rooms are an excellent tool for educators, team leaders, and anyone looking to facilitate group discussions or activities within larger meetings. By the end of this tutorial, you'll feel confident setting up and managing breakout rooms to enhance your virtual collaboration. First things first, you'll need to log into your Microsoft Teams account. If you're a regular user, this step should be second nature, but if you're new to Teams, ensure that you've installed the application and have your credentials ready to go. Now, once you're in, you'll either want to join an existing meeting or set up a new one. If you're creating a meeting, navigate to the calendar, click on Plus New Meeting, and set your details. If you're joining one, you should already have a link or invite. Just follow that. Being inside a meeting is essential, as breakout rooms are designed for an active session. When you're in your meeting, direct your attention to the top of the screen. You'll see an option labeled Rooms. Click on it. This is your gateway to organizing breakout spaces. It's a feature that becomes visible once the meeting starts, so if you don't see it initially, just double check that your meeting is active. Next, you'll decide how many breakout rooms you want to create. This largely depends on the number of participants and your session's goals. The more participants you have, the greater the number of rooms you might need to facilitate focused discussions. After settling on the number of rooms, you need to assign participants. You can do this manually, giving you control over which participants work together or automatically, which randomly disperses attendees into rooms. Consider your session's goals whether networking or collaborative tasks, when choosing how to assign participants. With everything set, go ahead and click Create Rooms. This action prompts teams to set up the necessary digital spaces for your breakout sessions. If you need to tweak settings, just click on the settings icon next to each room. Here, you can adjust various aspects like renaming rooms, transferring participants between rooms, or adjusting the privacy settings as needed. Additionally, a nice feature within Teams is the ability to turn on or off a time limit for breakout sessions. This is especially useful to keep the meeting on schedule, alerting participants when it's almost time to reconvene. Make sure to click Save after making your adjustments to ensure all changes are applied. Once all your configurations are set, hit Open Rooms to kick off the breakout sessions. Participants will be moved into their respective rooms where they can discuss, brainstorm, or collaborate as planned. Finally, when it's time to wrap up and bring everyone back to the main meeting for a debrief or closing notes, simply click Close Rooms. This will seamlessly bring all participants back to the primary meeting space, allowing you to conclude your session effectively. And there you have it. With these steps, you'll be ready to leverage breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams, maximizing engagement and productivity in your virtual meetings. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.